Hello there, David Thompson here, with a video on Mix. Mix is a free DJ software which gives you everything you need to perform live DJ mixes. You can download Mix from the App Store for absolutely no charge. Just head down to Top 3, See All, and it is currently first in the Top 3 in the App Store. You can download it, and just like that, it will install very fast. When you open up Mix, you will be greeted with a little window asking you to locate your iTunes folders and where your music is, may it be GarageBand or iTunes. Taking a look at Mix itself, it is strikingly a lot like Virtual DJ, which is a premium mixing software, and it's really the best one I have ever tried. I've got Virtual DJ, but this is the most similar one I can ever find for a Mac. So you have your library towards the left, and you have Auto DJ, Playlists, Crates. You can browse through your folders, analyse them, and also would you like to load your iTunes library. So it will automatically load all your music in your iTunes library, which is pretty pretty nifty indeed. So once you've found a track you like, you drag it over to your channel and here you have your time, how long it is, the beats per minute and your pitch rate information. So pretty much the same for the other side, you drag it across and you get your track there. You can play it through normally, like so, and then you've got all sound effects and features you can add into it. You can cross fade it with your other track as you see here if I play them both. Over to that side and then over to this side. So you can cross fade them together which is a pretty cool basic thing which is featured in a lot of mixers out there. Here you have headphones so you can plug in your headphones on one channel while playing the other through speakers which is a premium feature and I think that's very good that they've featured that in this piece of software. So over here you have a pitch rate so you can increase the pitch and the beats per minute. Unfortunately you can't do them separate so when you increase it it increases the beats per minute and the pitch so speed and the level of noise and when you go down it's also the same so if you listen it speeds up while the pitch is rising but if you don't have any DJ skills at all you can always click the sync button and it will sync them both together as you can hear now so the beats per minute and the speed are both matching now you do have other features like your you can control the volume of each channel so one can be louder than the other you have features where you can remove the bass remove the layers of the song so it's just the bass which they're pretty basic features you have depth control delay controls and LFD controls Flasinger controls. So over here you have loop controls which is pretty useful indeed. If you're doing mixing as a profession you will rarely need this but this software really isn't for the professionals. I think it's more for introductionary if you're starting out and you don't want to purchase expensive software this is for you. So if we play that track we can put loops in as you can listen now. So if you're doing live mixing, they will come in useful. So this is mix. The only major flaw in this piece of software is when you maximize it to fill your screen, you get this black around. So you cannot fully fill the screen with your decks. Even if you drag it from the edge, the same things occurs, but if you put it into full screen, it takes up your entirety of the screen. You just have this little window in the middle, which it is really annoying to an extent. 
So that's the only major flaw in this software. Otherwise, I will give this software a 9 out of 10 for being free, well designed, minus that flaw there, and great for the introductory level of mixing. Please subscribe if you like this video and for more content visit roundedtech.com and to stay up to date with us please follow us at Twitter.